one that we wanted to demonstrate, and this is uh, quite, this is important. We didn't buy, I know I didn't realise quite how much work that um, a number of the athletes here need to do in terms of their ability to, to do this particular squat. But what we're looking at is uh, really about the ankles and the range that's in the ankles. Able to stay up straight. Remember when all of you tried it, you couldn't bend over very far. So, and so the heels are staying on the ground. This is staying vertical and upright through here. And then even for hands, you would want to get it that he actually keeps his feet tied together. This is even harder. It would be more flexible. Still pretty good though. Mmm, good, good boy. Good. Yeah. Good. Where we then saw this, what was further evidence for us of that this was fantastic for Kai when we first did the test, was when we did those box jumps then yesterday. And the way that Kai was actually able to activate his glutes when he was doing his jump, it was purely just a squat and a press straight up and onto the box. Whereas others we saw trying to position themselves away from the box and get this push forward into it, trying to use hips and all sorts of other things. Okay, whereas Kai, we could see, um, was able just to get that straight spring up. Okay, that vertical position, which we know is so important for trampoline when you're taking this. So is that a maximum quality he has in his degree, or has he done another sport or something else to attribute to that? Mm -hmm. no, a lot of the strength white training white. we do, box jumps, squats, is all about like one step box jumps or uh, box jumps onto like the trampoline kind of thing, um, all from static movements. So, uh, technique for squat was really important. Ankle flexibility. I'd say like, 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 uh, like, 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 so, not <laughs> You should be able to keep your foot flat, and then, but that's ankle flexibility as well. Yes, the flexibility. And I think that's where all of ours are black, and I think most of them have kind of explained it. Like, I would guess that, you know, that they didn't work enough to get all that flexibility back. So, like, when we talk about shoulder flexibility, you can have flexible shoulders, but at the bottom of the trampoline, you know, we talked about the band with her here, if you're coming up out of it. And if you don't have the end to keep your arms up at that moment because your ankles aren't flexible enough, you know, you have to stack everything on top. Kai's technique for jumping is about 95% learned. Right? It's about good mechanics which are just take practice. So it's about hinging around your hips rather than your knees and having ankle flexibility. Great. So uh, we're going to do the final camp wrap up after you go and do your recovery. Okay, so you'll go and do that and we'll do our bump out, pack up of all of the equipment and then we'll do our wrap up all together. Okay, it gives me time to be able to formulate all your um, testing results and bits and pieces as well. And then everything that we try here, we try to expose you. Whenever you come to camp, to expose you to lots of things that you can take home and practice. It's not like you have to learn it here, how to do it. It's just something to give you as much as possible that you can take home and then practice to make your skills better. So I think you did a good job. Thanks, Greg.